the responsibility of our elected officials is to serve their constituents um, in any capacity that they can. And this was a prime example of them doing that. I saw a true, genuine sincerity from, from, from the Congressional Black Caucus to try to get the, the, a community employed that is unemployed. Now, are you saying Maxine Waters is, is, is the plantation boss at this point? Well, absolutely, because what you uh, end up having, you know, I'm going to be brutally honest, is that white liberals have uh, turned over to certain leaders, or quote-unquote perceived leaders in the black community, like a Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton, or Maxine Waters, or Barbara Lee, uh, and said, you know, pacify and keep the black community uh, firmly behind us. That kind of, uh, of conversation and that kind of, uh, of dialogue is not productive. We need to have productive dialogue in Washington. We need to all sit at the table together as one and figure this, and figure the problems of the country out and come together. That's what we need to do. We, we need to stop using negative rhetoric and negative dialogue because that is not productive. In fact, Mr. West's brother is here. Uh, he found himself out of a job. And uh, he asked his brother to help him, and his brother told him to come to me, to come to us. Wow. Uh, that we're here in Atlanta, where his brother lives. And he came up, he introduced himself, and I want his brother to get a job. And I hope uh, that his brother gets a job here today, and that Mr. West will understand uh, that the reason he sent him to me is because he knows that I am serious, and the Black Caucus is okay, serious about to, helping to connect people That's with incredible. So... Uh, Congressman West, who referred to you as the plantation boss, sent his own brother to this jobs fair seeking help from you and the other members of the Congressional Black Caucus who are trying to get folks their jobs. That, that's incredible. Plantation boss would send his brother to that to that jobs fair seeking your assistance. What does this say? I mean, it, it seems that people these days will say anything for a sound clip, and obviously their actions don't match it. Well, absolutely. That's why I said that, you know, those statements are rather ridiculous and they don't make good sense. But I guarantee him this, we're going to do everything we can to help his brother get a job. Wow. Congresswoman Maxine Waters, thank you very much.